welcome back and I'm going to um, um, use Java in the, to demonstrate about the data input and output stream I think I'll just make both of them in um, one project just to demonstrate it um, um, this one is data input output stream demo okay data input output streams data input output stream demo okay finish so um, first I'm going to um, use data output stream in order to um, write data to a file so so far inside this project which is our project data IO stream demo which is this project okay which is data input output stream and we don't have any file yet so um, and and in order to write data in order to write data out to a stream okay in order to write the data out to a stream you need to have an output stream too and this time this output stream it is the file so we would like to write to file so first thing first you need to have a file um, an output stream OS equal to and we are writing to a file output stream and that file is like my data dot that okay and why don't I just put it dot txt because we are not writing text we are writing data and this data may be in forms of an integer may be in form of characters if it's a character it's a text but then uh, we may write some different types of data which is like primitive data so I'm naming it as dot that okay not dot not dot what uh, not dot txt okay because we are not working with text again okay so uh, this data um, input stream output stream is called primitive data type so um, we're going to use data output stream in order to write some data types okay in order to write some data type okay a primitive java primitive data types not only one byte but it's going to be four bytes maybe two bytes maybe um, eight bytes depends on the primitive data that you're using like characters um, integers or or um, doubles okay so you're going to use uh, data output stream okay data output stream data output stream dos equal to new data output stream this this data output stream is going to make use of this output stream let's say uh, this data output stream is going to make use of this output stream uh, what does that mean make use of let's say if you write an integer of four bytes okay uh, integer is going to um, this data output stream is going to help you to convert this integer into four bytes and this four bytes is going to be written down to the file using this simple output stream that's why this one is called chains okay this one is called chaining okay this one is called chaining chaining or you um, change the uh, change the um, um, stream there, okay, change stream. Or this one making use of this one. So um, you uh, data output stream, and it's gonna make use of that output stream. And you're going to use data output stream. Now you can not just you um, you um, um, you can um, not just be able to write the bytes by byte, but you can um, always write the Java primitive data type let's say you can write okay you can write um, um, um uh, you can write a character let's say you can write characters um, um 97 this one is one characters okay one characters okay at catch close uh, you can uh, you can write okay uh, data upper stream you can write um, um you can um, write uh, an integer okay write an integer let's say number 97 is as an integer this 97 is different from this 97 this 97 is going to be converted as a characters a but this 97 is going to be converted into four bytes okay four bytes of an integer uh, this um, you are able to write another thing which is um, you can write many um, different data types and you can write also utf okay so we're going to write this time you're going to write a double okay doubles so this double is going to be 9.7 let's say okay let's say then you're going to use um, um, those dot close and you're going to have a um, um, upper stream dot close okay so if you run this one if you run this one your data upper stream will be able to write some primitive data type from Java to a file okay primitive data from Java to a file if you run this one and you see from files here you have a new file which is my data dot and they are in forms of binary 
They are not ticks. There is only one. 97 is a character, is a text, but all the others are um, binary forms. Okay, so if, let's say this one 97 is converted into four bytes, this one is converted into eight bytes, and so forth. So if you open this file, it's not have a warning. This one is binary data, it's not text data, and you would like to open it and you would like to view it as text, so you wanna see some string characters there. Okay, so you you wanna see string characters there. So for 97 is going to be in two bytes. Okay, second part of the first byte is on zero, and second part is a letter A. Okay, see. So next one is for uh, 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 this one, 97 as a characters. Okay, then you know, for 97 here as well, for 97 here um, um, as a number, it is four bytes. Okay, so first byte is zero, second byte is zero, third byte is zero, and the fourth byte is A, A means 97 itself. Similar, you have this one for, um, um, for 9.7. Okay, so again, this is different from, this is different from the input stream simple input stream what is the difference the difference is that simple um, upper stream sorry the difference is that this upper stream is going to work with a single byte or an array of bytes each where the unit of working is byte but the data upper stream the unit of working is primitive data types okay so you can also now you can also um, similarly you, you can also create um, similarly you can um, also create another um, block of codes in order to um, read the data that you have written down to the file. Okay, so you're going to use the um, 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 input stream is equal to um, new file input stream. This one I already explained before about the file input stream. Hopefully you still. And we are reading from same file my data dot that. Okay, Control Shift I. Then um, uh, we're going to have data, um, data um, input stream. This one is DIS equal to new data input stream. This data input stream is going to make use of that input stream up here as well. But why do you have to use this data input stream? Because you would like to read primitive data types, not just bytes, but primitive data types, primitive Java data type. So you can read the one you written down there. The first one is a character. So this one is a character. Okay, C equal to C equal to um, 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 data input stream dot read characters. Okay, okay. Then the next one is you going to next one is you going to um, have the next one is uh, you going to read an integer in I equal to dis dot read integer not just by this one will help you again this read int is actually making use of this input stream uh, to read four bytes and convert it into an integer for you then you're going to have a double d equal to this dot read double okay then now we're going to display the character okay plus c over there and then you're going to display the um, integer then you're going to have sorry for this one it is e plus i over here and you're going to have a double you're going to plus d over there and when once you are done you're going to have this dot close and you're going to check input stream dot close as well so if you run this one beside uh, being able to write the data R, you are able to read the data up as well. Okay, you can create a new file, but then you know just just uh, for demonstration purpose, I'm putting it here. Okay, run it. Okay, say so, so you are able to read the character, read an integer and double. Okay, once more, they are just binary data. They are not text. Okay, except if you write all of them are characters, they won't be represented as text. Okay. And um, in next lecture, since this, this kind of stream is called the uh, so just to summarize you if you have input stream output stream they're working with bytes. The unit of working is bytes, okay, or array byte. Then you uh, have data input stream and data output stream okay the unit of working is primitive data types inside java okay primitive data type inside java it's maybe several um, several bytes okay several bytes and this 
uh, data input stream, data output stream going to make use of this one. And especially next time, if we're working with characters or letters or text, we're going to have readers and writer. We're going to explain about this in the next video.